Ocean City officials say that Memorial Day weekend was too rowdy on the beach and the boardwalk, and now they're cracking down. This is a live picture of a much quieter boardwalk tonight. Officials are putting teenagers and their parents on notice. CBS News Philadelphia's Siafa Lewis has more. Over the holiday weekend, Ocean City Police say they responded to just under a thousand incidents involving teenagers. They included underage drinking, vandalism, assaults, shoplifting, and the confiscation of a firearm, in addition to other infractions. God. On Tuesday, Ocean City Mayor Jay Gillian responded. All Ocean City beaches will now be closed at 8 p.m. Carrying backpacks will not be permitted on the beach or boardwalk after 8 p.m. And the curfew for juveniles is now 11 p.m. instead of 1 a.m. I think they're positive. Yeah, it was a good idea. I, like, I'm happy that he did it. I think it's good. I mean, we were here last summer and it was like chaos on the beach. Let's like, what the hell's going on? This is our family friendly town. Mayor wanted something to be done, and I think it, it's a response that'll help um, curb any uh, unruly behavior. It's probably a good thing. Now, it's not surprising to see the boardwalk this slow on the last Tuesday in May, but the mayor's ordinances will be tested in the weeks to come. Some we spoke to believe the changes will help. Teenagers are very unpredictable, and coming from a Coming from a reliable source, <laughs> sometimes you just can't trust what they're putting in their bags. I think it'll help for the most part, but I think some of it is a little excessive. While others aren't as confident that the new rules will make a difference. Not really, to be honest. I think that teens are pretty much going to do what they want to do, and even if the curfew is 11 p.m. or whatever, they'll still be out, I think. But. I don't know. And as one gentleman told us off camera, the mayor's orders are one thing. Enforcing them is what really matters. In Ocean City, New Jersey, Siafa Lewis, CBS News, Philadelphia.